So this has to be one of the funniest situations I've ever seen with one of the most hated gacha game communities ever. If you don't know, recently Wuthering Waves came out with a new 5 star character called Zhang Li Yao who you can actually claim for free. All you have to do is play the event that's out at the moment and you can actually get him after reaching 6,000 popularity, which again is absolutely amazing and a lot of people are very happy with getting a free 5 star and with him being a free limited 5 star at that because obviously, you know, in the past Wuthering Waves have given out free 5 stars and they've all been kind of like permanent and obviously that's not really their fault because the game just came out but now they've got a few more characters out they can actually you know give away a couple of limited characters which we don't really see from other gacha games but if we go over to r slash gacha gaming right now you can see that they got a little banner for zhang liao which again i think is one of the most ironic situations ever and i just find it so funny so in this video we're going to be going through this r slash gacha gaming situation talking about an event that they're doing with wuthering waves and why this is so hypocritical and you know why this is even funny in the first place but before i get into this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy it and also go for gaming subs use my code kazo we can get yourself 10 percent off a ton of cups and tubs and they also have an event going on where you can get free shipping so i definitely recommend going to go check that out but let's get back into the video. So yeah, as you know, r slash gacha gaming has become very popular in the gacha gaming community. And obviously this is mainly just because of that whole blanket kind of name. r slash gacha gaming obviously means a lot of gacha games from all the Hoyaverse ones, you know, Genshin Impact, Honkai Starro, to some other ones like Azure Lane, Snowbreak, and even some small ones. They literally cover every single gacha game, which obviously a lot of people will be like, oh, I like gacha games, so I'll go over to this community. But what a lot of people don't know is they're actually full of misinformation. And I actually think that r slash gacha gaming stands for, you know, the 50-50 you get whenever it comes to misinformation because you have a 50 percent chance of just being misinformed completely and i mean you know what do you expect whenever you've got steam bun x being one of your top users posting a ton of misinformation on your subreddit obviously this is going to be an absolute hellhole gotcha. right and kazahana is just the one that's spreading mis misinformation abusing the fact nobody speaks chinese i found it suspicious now do i have hard evidence no now, obviously there are some people that do some really good stuff and you know spread actual good information that is backed by a source which again i think it's amazing i think they've just found the wrong community to be telling this to and there's a lot of people that were posting a lot of information to do with wuthering wave and this was especially the case whenever zhang li yao first came out there was this post that pretty much came up in r slash gacha gaming i'm pretty sure there was a live stream or patch notes or something like that that came out whenever they announced zhang li yao i'm pretty sure it was patch notes and this person just posted a pretty innocent post saying we're also excited to announce that everyone will receive five star resonator zhang li yao for free during second half of version 1.2 now, this seems like a pretty innocent post. Is r slash gacha gaming, of course, are going to include Wuthering Waste news, but the mods actually took the post down and had it under, you know, kind of surveillance for a little bit to kind of decide whether to actually put this back up or not, which again is completely weird. And this is completely true because, you know, it's came out in a reply. They, you know, apologized for the post not being approved soon enough. And they actually managed to do this, I think, a couple of days later, maybe even a week later. And the post was finally up. But after all the hype died down, which again, it's kind of a scummy move from, you know, r slash gacha gaming because in this subreddit, you do get the kind of feeling that they don't like Wuthering Waves, you know? They don't like anything to do with them. They don't like posts about them. And just overall, it's really weird for a subreddit that's supposed to be inclusive to a lot of games. And this is just proof of them doing that. And obviously you think, well, okay, maybe they just wait to approve a lot of the posts. Well, the reason they actually took this down was that they thought it should go in its own subreddit, like the r slash Wuthering Waves subreddit or something like that, which again would be acceptable, but only if they did it with every other post too. If we look at the free Five star for Honkai Star, which was Dr. Ratio. This post went up straight away and there was no approving need to be done. And again, they didn't have this whole conversation of does it need to go in another subreddit? So it does kind of prove, you know, R slash Gacha Gaming's bias towards Hoyaverse and just how much they hate Wuthering Waves, which again, kind of sucks. But why is this all funny in the first place? Well, actually, there was a recent collaboration with Wuthering Waves on the R slash Gacha Gaming server. This is actually official. You know, Wuthering Waves actually partnered up with R slash Gacha Gaming for Zhang Liao's banner, you know, the post that got taken down which again is the most ironic thing i've ever seen and of course i had to tweet this out and make fun of it because again it's absolutely insane that they would actually do this after all the hate and stuff they've given modern waves and i'm sure that they still will go back to their old ways you know once this event is all over and pretty much this is a whole giveaway thing where you can actually win some awards and they leave a lot of information of how to enter including you know leaving a public comment on the thread and the chances of winning were like 50 50 so again this is so weird to see saying is you know our slash gacha gaming's past with bothering waves it just kind of proves how like untrue they are to their community because obviously if they do hate wuthering waves and stuff like that you would expect them to stay true to it you know you'd expect them to you know not take this collaboration out of respect for their community members which again i think is fine if you don't want to like wuthering waves and don't like it but the thing is they've done all of this you know blocking posts from wuthering waves and stuff and now they've decided to partner up with them it's just crazy and it just shows you how much of a money grab you know 
these moderators really want. And they're, they're pretty much only doing this for money. I mean, I don't think they're actually doing this because they like Wuthering Waves. I'm pretty sure if Wuthering Waves came up to them and asked them to do it for free, you know, I doubt they would actually accept it. I don't know how much money they're getting or if they're even getting money at all. But obviously, they're getting some kind of, you know, compensation in return for this. And I don't know on Wuthering Waves' side whether they know about all the stuff that's going on with our slash gaming and, you know, how much misinformation's on there. And also how much they've just been shitting on their game overall. I don't know if that's a factor that they've actually, you know, keyed in. Or if Wuthering Waves just are completely oblivious. And this is just one big coincidence for them. Because again, this is the funniest thing ever. People are saying like, oh, uh, Kuro Games is now owning r slash catcher gaming. Because obviously, because obviously, you know, as I said, they've done all of this hating on Wuthering Waves. For Kuro Games to come over with a ton of money and be like, hey, we own you now. It's so funny that they've just kind of backpedaled so much because of this. And they're just like, oh yeah, sorry Wuthering Waves. Sorry, we'll take your money. We're, we're so sorry for ever doing this to you. It's really funny to see. Now obviously this event is actually quite positive for r slash catcher gaming. Because obviously it does bring a lot of members over from the Wuthering Waves community which if you are one of those people don't go over there I would definitely stick to one of the official Wuthering Waves servers if you want Wuthering Waves news and just stick to the other servers Zealous Zone Zero whatever game you're playing to actually get your information because you can get misfed a lot of information but also r slash catch gaming you know benefit from this monetarily wise or some other wise however you know they got paid or you know compensated for this which again i guess is a w for them but for their pride and the overall you know keeping the agenda of hating wuthering waves it's really not a win for them and obviously you know they're getting clowned on massively now i don't know why wuthering waves didn't actually partner up with one of their official servers i mean you know there's always an unofficial server that actually goes alongside the official server i'm pretty sure wuthering waves has one as well so i don't know why they didn't you know partner up with them who are actually much more you know wuthering waves focused and people actually want the rewards from it because if i go down into the comments there's some people saying that you know this is the last place i'd ever want my game to collab with is a collab with the gacha sub instead of we was own sub what a sight and also it's funny to see that there's a lot of comments as well it's saying like after uninstalling genshin i thought i'd give it another try but seeing how we were is still on the chinese i'm not going to say that one on a video but i think i'll wait a bit more and then below it they actually replied saying congratulations you've been selected as a winner so obviously a lot of these people are like hating on mothering waves and they're being selected as winners for these kind of things which again is just really bad because obviously you know there's a lot of people that actually play mothering waves that do want these rewards but instead you got to r slash gacha gaming which probably has the highest volume of people who hate wuthering waves and you're pretty much giving out wuthering waves rewards which are pretty much going to go to nowhere you know no one's going to use them people are just going to probably try to sell them maybe no one's going to use them at all and it's just kind of sad to see that they didn't put it in a community that maybe cares a little bit more about wuthering waves and just cares a little bit more about getting free rewards because again there's a lot of these people in the comments that are saying hey i don't even play the game and then they get selected as a winner. It's really crazy and I don't know, you know, what kind of system they're using for this giveaway, whether it's a bot that does it automatically or if it's a person. Because if it's a person, that's absolutely crazy, them selecting a ton of people that don't even play the game. And I'm pretty sure that the event is actually over now, so you can't actually win any of these rewards anymore. But again, it's kind of sad to see that, you know, a lot of people aren't really enjoying the rewards from this overall event. But it's also funny to see us such gadget gaming going against their word and going against the whole agenda, which I think a lot of people in the Wuthering Ways community are finding super funny as well. Well, wow. yeah, that's about all I got for this video. I just wanted to talk about this real quick because I did make a post on it and it got a lot of attention. So I thought, you know, maybe some people over on the YouTube want to know about it. If you guys want to see some, you know, stuff that's more up to date and stuff that happens when it happens, then go over to my Twitter and give it a follow because, again, I'll be covering a lot of that kind of stuff before a video comes out. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also go over to Game Subs using my code CASA where you can get yourself 10% off a ton of cups and tubs. And yeah, as I said, go over to that event. It's very, very cool. You can get a ton of free stuff and, you know, you can get free shipping with it as long as you use my code. So yeah, that's all I got for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. That's all. See ya.